Here's a quick synopsis of the things you need to do to get up and running with Music One. First, get some tag editing software to scan and check all of the tags on your audio files. The two freeware tag editors that I recommend are MediaMonkey and MP3 Tag. There are other videos available here showing you how to use both of them. Pick the one that looks the best to you, download it, install it, correct all the audio tags, and then use that software to export your library data to a text file. Next, install Music One SE. Start it up, and at the Open Database screen, you'll see the empty database, MyStation.m1. Select and open. The Music One logo will appear. Click it, it goes away, and you're in. Click the Categories button. Open the Import menu and select Import from CSV. The Import Tracks window will appear. In most cases, you'll want to tell it to overwrite Cart and File. Click the Import button. Then negotiate through your computer to find and select the comma-separated text file that you exported from your tag editing software. I'm selecting a file that I exported from MP3 tag. Select it and click Open and the song data will be imported. After an import, it's not uncommon to get this message. Some tracks were not imported because of a missing title. That means the title field tag data was empty for one or more of the audio files. Or there was a duplicate file. Many people have copied some audio files into different folders. They have two copies of the very same audio file. Music One will import and make only one song card or non-music card for each individual track. If there are things it didn't import, Music One will make another comma-separated text file with a listing of the data that it didn't import. You can look at that file later by opening it with Notepad or Excel or some other spreadsheet. Click OK and put this window away and close. Everything will have been imported into a couple of system categories, new songs and new tracks. Song cards here and such things as station IDs, promos, and voice tracks here. Now, you create some song categories. Open the Category menu, select New, Music, and name your category. Click the gray area to the left of your category name and select a color for it. This will be the color the category displays on your format clocks. Click back to New Songs and select some songs that you want to move into the category that you just created. For your first trial runs, create at least three music categories. Most webcasters use between three and seven rotation groups. It's easy to change things around. You can make new categories, rename categories, or you can delete them. Create one or more of your non-music categories and move your voice tracks or promos into those. With categories created and songs moved into them, you can make your first format clock. Click the Format button. Open the File menu and select New. And name your first clock. Click the Insert Item button and begin adding music and non-music units to your clock. Just double-click on the category name and it'll be added to the clock. If you make a mistake, it's no problem. You can delete things from the clock. You can move things from one position to another around the clock. Put the Add Clock Item window away by clicking the Cancel button. You can look at it in the graphic clock form or click this button to see the clock in the list form. See the other tutorial videos about creating format clocks for more information. When you've created one or more format clocks, click this button to see the 24-hour clock lineup. On this grid, you tell Music One which clock to use in each of the hours of the day. 
And there you have the basic steps for setting up Music One. First, edit and correct the tags on your audio files. Second, export your library data to a text file. Third, import the data into Music One. Fourth, create some categories and move songs into them. Fifth, create a format clock or two. And sixth, place clocks onto the proper hours of the clock lineup grid. Those steps taken, you're just about ready to run your first schedule. Do watch some more tutorial videos, though. We've tried to make things as simple as we could, but there are some more things that you need to know about categories and clocks and all the things you can do with them. And most importantly, you need to watch the video about scheduling with Music One. Learn how to handle the software, and you'll soon be turning out schedules that give your station the sound and the music flow that's exactly the way you want it to be.